vulnerability exploitation using Metasploit. Now we'll discover and prove that discover, discovered vulnerabilities in the previous labs are exploitable. And we'll exploit multiple types of vulnerabilities to reach the same goal, full control on target machine. So let's go back to the report generated by Nessus. And we have here several uh, vulnerabilities. Okay, let's go and see which detail offers the, the report. So it offers some information, some description about the phone vulnerability and also um, sometimes it uh, includes um, an ID that you can research more about, but not this one. Let's see another one. It says it's exploitable. It gives you more information and it also offers a CV number that we already talked about in the previous videos. So here you can search even more about the vulnerability and you can search for some exploits based on this ID. So you can find more information about this. It says it's network exploitable. You don't require, you require any authentication in order to exploit this. And so on. And sometimes it offers information if there is an exploit for this or not. And for this it does. Let's see if it's shown here, otherwise we will manually find it. So what we we'll need is the CD ID. Then we'll go to exploitdb.com and we'll search for the ID. And if there is an exploit available, it will be shown here. Yes, there is. And here it is. And we have a script that we can use in order to to get control over it. And it, it comes with some uh, information of how to be used. And for this exploit, you have to download the SSH keys and to try them. Actually, what uh, this vulnerability means is that, that uh, it uses some uh, weak keys. And uh, this archive that you have to download is actually um, some generated keys that you will um, try like this using the script, using the keys that you have downloaded, um, the target machine, the user, and uh, the port, destination port, SSH 22, and uh, threats. Okay, this will take a while, so let's go to another uh, vulnerability you have. You can try this one by by your own. Let's go to another vulnerability to see which vulnerability we have here. We actually have a lot of uh, vulnerabilities, but um, let's choose another one. I remember that 
it was an FTP um, server discovered. Let's go back to Nessuscan. Um, target and no, let's make this easier. So it says FTP and it use BSP PTPD version two three four. Okay, let's find a vulnerability for this one. Can we we can use Google or we can use um, ExploitDB directly? Let's practice a little bit what we already have learned. And voila, there is an exploit for this uh, FTP server. And actually there are a few. Let's go with this one. And let's, let's exploit it this time. And see what happens. Okay, this is the the exploit that we will use. Uh, this can be accessed directly from Metasploit. So let's clear this and let's open Metasploit. And is it as you already know from the the previous uh, video? It will take a little bit to load all the plugins. You have a step by step um, description of how to exploit this specific vulnerability on the PDF lab attached. But you can just try to exploit another vulnerability as well as you as you saw the one from ssh okay let's clear this and let's make it a little bit bigger so let's search for an exploit for bs ptpd uh, database is not connected but no problem it will take a little bit longer, but it's all right. Okay, let's make a little bit. Okay, it says it, it found uh, this exploit for the VSVTBD version 2.3. Point four and it says backdoor command execution exactly what we found on exploit the boo. So let's use it. Use this one. Uh, let's show some info. Sorry, show options for now. Um, Let's set the remote host is 172, 130. As far as I remember, the remote port is indeed 21. Now let's show what payloads are compatible. And there is only one, so set payload CMD Unix Interact. Show options again to see if everything is okay. Remote host payload. Okay, and now let's exploit it. And 
seems we have a shell command shell session one opened and it doesn't show anything but we can just input uh, Linux command so if config for instance and we see we are on the target machine and we are uh, logged on logged on as a as a root so very simple because it was a public uh, accessible exploit and it worked like uh, very nice so let's find out more information about this machine what version of linux does it run let's uh, see some files here maybe we can see the shadow files where the the passwords are uh, are stored or this file we can see the users and we can create um, a new a new user here but it's not uh, very interactive this uh, this shell so we can just use this shell to download some backdoor and uh, use another shell or so to to later uh, connect to this target machine or we can just change the password and connect via ssh but this is enough for for, for this exploit 